National Chemical Laboratories, producers of world-class cleaning and hygiene solutions presents NCL University Online, Floor Maintenance Training. This video covers deep scrubbing and recoat procedures. Deep scrubbing and recoating is a process consisting of top scrubbing the finish using a specialized cleaner to remove any embedded dirt and or foreign materials and then reapplying a fresh coating of floor finish to renew and extend the lifetime of the floor coating. Typically, this process is conducted when the floor is no longer responding to standard restoration steps. To conduct proper deep scrubbing, you will need the following equipment. You will need a vacuum cleaner, a push broom, a putty knife, a dust mop, a dust pan, a handheld brush, a measuring cup, drop cloths, blue floor pads, two mops two mop buckets with ringers, caution wet floor signs. Depending on your preferred deep scrubbing method, you will either need an automatic scrubber or a floor swing machine and a wet vac. While we understand this may seem like a daunting and extensive list, each piece of equipment mentioned will allow you to deep scrub and recoat floors easily and effectively. You will need a deep scrubbing solution. NCL produces Quick Scrub Scrub and Recoat Cleaner. To learn more about Quick Scrub, please visit nclonline.com. The first step in proper deep scrubbing procedures is ensuring you are protecting yourself with the appropriate PPE, Personal Protective Equipment. Do not proceed until you have completely fulfilled your PPE requirements. You must put on protective gloves. Inspect the gloves before putting them on. If you notice any holes or other damage, discard and put on a new pair. Protective eyewear must be worn. Inspect for damage before putting on. If damage is found, put on another pair. Hold by the arms when putting them on. Avoid contact with the glass or plastic lenses. Put protective footwear coverings over your shoes. These will help add slip resistance while working on wet floors and reduce your chance of injury. Before deep scrubbing the floor, the following preparation procedures must be conducted. Vacuum entrance matting. Wet vac the matting if there was a recent heavy rainstorm. After you do that, roll up the mat and remove it from the room. Clear the floor of all removable furniture and other items. Sweep the floor with a push broom. Scrape any stickers or gum off the floor with a putty knife. Dust mop the floor. Collect the debris from the sweeping and scraping in a centralized location and sweep up in a dust pan. Take the dust mop outside to a designated area and comb out the mop head. Return all equipment that was used for these routine maintenance procedures to the designated storage area of your facility. Ensure the area is properly ventilated. Turn on the air conditioner or dehumidifier. Do not open doors or windows if there is humidity in the air outside. Humidity in the atmosphere will have a negative impact during the floor finish recoating portion of your deep scrubbing procedures. Place caution wet floor signs at all entrance points. Place drop cloths on surfaces adjacent to the floor which you will be deep scrubbing. Dilute quick scrub with water, according to label instructions, into a mop bucket. Fill a second mop bucket with cool water. The next set of instructions are for deep scrubbing with a floor machine. If you are using an automatic scrubber for your procedures, your instructions will differ. 
The instructions for deep scrubbing with an automatic scrubber will be covered shortly. Mount blue floor pads on the drive block of your floor machine. Insert the mop into the bucket and apply solution to a 10 foot by 10 foot area of the floor. Scrub with your low speed machine and blue pad. Two passes over the same area should be sufficient. If the solution dries before you conclude your second pass, reapply. Pick up slurry from the solution with a wet vac. Proceed to the next 10 foot by 10 foot area and repeat those procedures. Move in a deliberate pattern around the room to ensure all areas are covered. Insert a clean mop into the mop bucket with clean, cool water and rinse the floor. This next set of instructions are for deep scrubbing with an automatic scrubber. Mount blue floor pads on the drive block of the automatic scrubber. Insert the mop into the bucket and apply solution to the floor. With your automatic scrubber, make your first pass in a controlled, deliberate pattern around the room with the water valve closed, blue pad down, and rotating at medium pressure to scrub the floor. Make your second pass over the area with the pad still down and rotating at medium pressure, but this time put the squeegee down and vacuum on to scrub the floor and pick up the slurry as you go. Make another pass, dispensing fresh water to rinse the floor. Pick up any trails left behind by the automatic scrubber with a clean mop and clean rinse water. Allow your floor to completely dry. Refer to the floor finish application training video for the procedures to be used when applying a recoat of floor finish. Following deep scrubbing, one layer of finish should be sufficient. Do not exceed two coats. Clean all equipment used in your deep scrub and recoat procedures and properly store away in the designated storage area of your facility. Remove, clean, and store non-disposable PPE, such as protective footwear and eyewear. Remove and discard disposable PPE, such as nitrile gloves. Upon return the following day, remove protective drop cloths and caution wet floor signs. Return furniture and other items to the room.